Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Alicia. Very glad to have you. I just went to Trader Joe's, got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm really excited to share some things with you guys and let's just get right into it. Oh my goodness, okay, so there is a lot of new things. Actually, I don't think I bought any, no, there's a couple things in here that I've gotten before, but a bunch of brand new stuff. This is the My Summer Haul. I think this was around $145. I'll put the actual price up on the screen. As usual with my grocery hauls, I will include all of the prices of each individual item. All right, down here, I don't know if this is new or if this is something that they've always had, dill pickle mustard. Really excited to try this. What I was thinking would this would actually be good in is actually an egg salad sandwich. So when I make egg salad, I like to put a little bit of mustard in it and pickle juice, so hello, this is perfect. So that is probably what I'm actually gonna be trying it with. If you are following Candice Renee, she suggested this Green Dragon hot sauce. She said it was really good. I love hot sauces. In particular, I like green hot sauces. So like salsa verde, like any green hot sauce I am down with. So excited to give this a try. This little guy over here is already open. My husband got into it already and he gave it a thumbs up. These are crispy, crunchy chocolate chip cookies. These I actually just bought for the kids to have, but I'm a kid too. I'm gonna have some of these too. So I got that. There wasn't anything like new as far as like cookies go. At least I didn't see anything. So um, if you have any other like recommendations like for cookies, uh, let me know. Okay, I bought some, a bunch of, I shouldn't say a bunch, but I bought several different freezer op options. Now this first one is the beef and broccoli. I have never tried this. It is mildly sweet and spicy. This will just be like an easy dinner night on nights where I just don't feel like cooking. And honestly, I don't know why, but the summer I feel like I get a little bit lazier when the kids are not in school. I feel like I don't wanna cook. I don't know if it's also just because the heat, like I'm just not into it. I think the kids will all like this because I make a beef, beef broccoli at home and they really enjoy it. So this is one pound and eight ounces. I don't think I've ever tried the coconut milk at Trader Joe's. Now, I've mentioned this before, my absolute favorite coconut milk is from Target. It's the Good & Gather brand. I think their coconut milk is bomb. I got two of these just in case I liked it. I shook this can and you can't really hear anything which means that it is really thick, and so that is why I picked up two, because I actually think I'm gonna really enjoy it. Maybe this will be my new favorite coconut milk. We shall see. I really wanted to get a salsa, and nothing was really speaking to me. There was a peach one, but I didn't want it to be super sweet. When I think of salsa, I don't wanna think of like sweet, you know what I mean? I wanted something more savory, chunky. This looked right up our alley. This is a cowboy caviar, so it has corn, black beans, and pepper. So it re looks really chunky, it looks really good and I think my boys are actually gonna really like I remember always getting these in my lunches and like for snacks when I was little these are like little like fruit leathers I think so this one's an apple raspberry I got two of those and I got two apple strawberries I think my boys will really like these and if they don't I'm gonna freaking eat them right now the tea that I'm drinking at night is a dandelion root tea um, and it's good but I'm feeling like something else, like I'm wanting something else. So I got this. So in here we have black tea, blackberry leaves, hibiscus, and calendula petals. Where's the mango? Is that calendula? <laughs> so there's like literally no mango, whatever. Well, we'll just give it a try. I've bought this before and my husband loved them and I forgot to get them on my last trip. So I got a box and I, this is gonna be pr pretty much permanently on my list. I don't really go into to, um, oh no, I knew I forgot something. Guys, I'm really bad about making lists and things, like especially for like um, Trader Joe's and Costco. I forgot the cookie butter, that sucks. Anyway, back to this, sorry. So I got the fig and olive crisps because he, these are actually really delicious and they're good with cheese and guys, I came through with a cheese today. Can't wait to show you guys that. To also go with our cheese, some pita bite crackers. I like the way these look. I think these are gonna be really great with the cheese that I bought. And of course, when you have cheese and crackers, you need a bottle of wine or whatever. You can have beer too. I like beer. I wanted to get one that was a Trader Joe's exclusive and this Malbec, we really enjoy Malbecs. It's been a while since I've had one, so I decided to get it because the price is right. Not a twist off, which is all right. 
you know, I, I, I'm not super fancy. I don't care what kind of top it is, but as long as it's good wine, I'm all for it. Okay, I got some plain bagels. These are just for my boys for the mornings and for my baby who is loving bread right now. Obviously, who does not love bread? So I got them some bagels for breakfast. And to go with our cowboy caviar, I got some organic blue corn tortilla chips. They didn't really have like anything like fun or festive as far as tortilla chips go. Every once in a while, you know, they come out with like, I think for fall they had the, what was it, like the little autumn leaf tortilla chips and these are just like regular. So it is what it is. Look at these really cute flowers. They have so many flowers. I don't remember the name. I have a video. I'll put it up right here. But it said it lasts like four to six weeks or something. So, and it's really tiny. It's not... It's not like super big. So I think this is gonna go on my little kitchen table right there. And it's so pretty. So just need like some, some color up in here. Why has no one ever told me about these donuts? This is the first time I'm seeing this. Sour cream donuts, hello, these look so good. Guys, I am a donut lover. It's taken me years though to not eat as many donuts in one sitting. Let me tell you, um, I used to, back in the day, I'm gonna say maybe three years ago, <laughs> I'll say, I would eat three donuts in a sitting and it always included one of these because I love donuts, but I have learned to hone it back a little bit. So I'm gonna have one of these for dessert tonight because these just look phenomenal. Ooh, so I love the chomps. This stuff is so good and it's a good, I love, don't you love how I'm like going straight from donuts to like a high protein snack? But anyway, so these are a good snack to have during the day whenever you need like a little pick me up, something to kind of curb your hunger. There's a nine grams of protein in this one stick, 90 calories. I don't really ever look at the calories but the protein is what I usually look at and I just decided to go with just the regular beef we weren't a huge fan of the turkey so I just stuck with the original and snacks for me and my husband so this is gonna be something very different for us now we are not vegan or vegetarian or anything like that but this just caught my eye and I think it caught my eye because there was only two left I took the last two so that has to tell you something right this has to be good it is yellow jackfruit curry with jasmine rice I don't know what to expect from this I'm I'm assuming this is gonna be pretty good otherwise I don't think they would have it but gonna try this for dinner one of these nights with some veggies and I actually think my kids will like this I am excited to give something new a try we love our meat don't get me wrong but wouldn't mind trying something different Oof. Coming back up here, making my way. I really hit up the bakery section, guys. So some glazed vanilla bean scones. Now, I love the vanilla bean scones from Starbucks. Starbucks has the best. I've actually tried replicating them with actual vanilla beans before, and they, they come out really good, but just not as good. But these look really, really delicious. They don't have as big of a, as much of a glaze on top as the Starbucks version. So it may not be as sweet, which I don't mind. That's totally fine, but excited to give these a try. There's four of them in here. Back up here, okay. So a cheese-filled fiocchetti with pink sauce. I got two packages right over here. I've never heard of this type of pasta. Okay, you guys may not be able to read this very well, but this is a pasta pouches filled with ricotta to let, I can't read it, and mozzarella cheese. So some type of cheese, taleggio mozzarella cheese accompanying a rich creamy tomato based sauce <laughs> that was a lot to read but this looks really good and i thought that maybe i could make this and incorporate some peas like throwing some peas in there just to add a vegetable to it again guys i wanted to get some easy recipes this week just because i don't feel like making anything but also wanted to make sure there's some healthy element to it. So the organic peas are gonna go in in this pasta. In my last video, I had a flatbread pizza. It was a prosciutto and burrata pizza and I was so tempted to get it. I actually picked it up and was about to put it in my cart, but I realized I need to try something else. Like that is what I'm there for. I need to try new things. So I'm going with this. This is an organic pesto pizza with tomatoes and broccoli. This is just gonna be like for one of me and my husband's lunches. We're just gonna split this and probably have like a side salad to it. So something just very simple for one of those afternoons. I got a random cauliflower bag. I don't know why, <laughs> but I think it's because I was craving cauliflower. I love eating cauliflower raw. So do my boys. So I'm gonna give this to them as a snack and probably for me too. I told you guys I was gonna come through with the cheese. I came through with the cheese. I got four different cheeses here. This one is mostly for sandwiches though. I just got a regular sharp cheddar sliced cheese. This is just for sandwiches or to go on top of hamburger patties or to give to my daughter who'd like little bits of cheese for her lunch. Now for 
like the legit cheeses here. Okay, so this one I believe was in their Fearless Flyer, I think, and this is Mobe cheese. So this is a goat's milk cheese and sheep's milk cheese separated by a distinctive ash layer. What in the world? Do you see that? So how it's gonna taste, is this, does this mean it's gonna have like a smoky flavor to it? I have no idea. It is more of like a softer cheese, not super hard, but I think it's gonna be delicious. Now this one is nothing new to us, but I, I knew we needed to have it. This one's Roquefort cheese, and it's a blue cheese, so it's a stinky cheese, crumbly, perfect for those crackers that I got over there. And I think this will be a good balance, especially for the fig and olive crisp, because they're, they have like a little sweetness to it, so this will balance it out really well. Now I am a huge fan of soft cheeses my husband not so much he will eat brie every once in a while I love soft cheese so this one is a port salut semi soft cheese so this cheese is similar to a Havarti or a Munster cheese so I know I'm gonna like this because that's what I really enjoy so this with our crackers and our wine we are all set oh and to go with our cheese some apricots this is placed perfectly in the cheese section of course apricots apricots however you like to pronounce it goes with these cheeses so that'll make a nice little charcuterie for us okay Okay, these but I didn't I don't I bought them for just one reason and one reason only. Now, if you guys know, we are Disney fans. We love watching anything on Disney Plus. And as soon as I saw this, I knew my boys would love it. These are little bow buns because my kids they always like watching that short, and they're always asking what it what it is. And so we don't eat it that often. But I thought that this would be fun for them to see what it actually is. So I would like to make this for them one of these nights, probably with that um, beef and broccoli that I got. And I also got some cream cheese. This is just regular whipped cream cheese for those bagels for the mornings. Now, I don't know what kind of, I saw these, I was like, ooh, yes. But I don't know if these are more like a dinner potato or like a breakfast potato. Cause usually like the peppers and onions means like it's a O'Brien potato. And I can't see inside the bag. It's actually like a foil bag. So not sure. Uh, I guess I don't see why I couldn't make this for, for breakfast. So this was that was my intention was for breakfast. So I'll just make it for breakfast. I just picked up a few bananas for my daughter and my kids because I'm already out of bananas. So I just needed to get a few extra. I bought some kale. This is to go into my smoothies. I have, usually have a protein shake whenever I work out. And I'm just going to mix this in with some spinach that I have. So that's that. My husband already opened this because he just needed to have some right this second. But this is the cold brew concentrate and I've bought this before it is a little bit on the expensive side but it is delicious and you, you don't need a lot in fact I think he took too much was it too strong really concentrated. <laughs> yeah I think he poured too much of it but anyway this stuff is delicious and it's perfect for an iced coffee in the afternoons definitely recommend this I need to do a Costco run really bad it's nearing the end of June July is approaching I need some more bread so this is just for my boys because we're running out of the sliced bread I like to get at Costco I've never actually tried their sliced bread I'm sure it's just fine and the last thing I bought some peonies look at how pretty these are okay so these are supposed to last for a while as long as you t um, change the water out so I got these and they're supposed to like open up and be like beautiful little flowers I am really stoked so where I'm gonna put them I have no idea and I don't care I'll find a place to put them because they were just so pretty and that is it for this Trader Joe's haul I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out I do a lot of grocery hauls all the time because I need food we need food we need to survive so we will see you in the next video bye guys let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Strike it. what I bought for you guys what are those what does it look like from Bao. Bao. <laughs> yeah. I bought some. So we can try it, okay? So cute. I know. They look cute. Too cute to eat. Okay, I just wanted to do a little taste testing of some products. Tonight I'm making the beef and broccoli here. And I took everything out. I already did the, the broccoli. Now the meat, I should have actually bought two. Because I don't think it'll be enough. But it's okay. Actually, there was a lot of broccoli. Like this is a fairly big, decent bowl, and it, there's more than the beef. But anyway, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start cooking off the beef. I do have some rice going over here. It is very loud in this house right now. Okay, so since there is not that much beef and broccoli, I decided I'm gonna just make these uh, the bao buns today. So this is the Trader Ming's um, Chinese style pork buns. Now, this is what I thought I was gonna do. I don't have a steamer basket because I never really steam things um, like a, with an official basket or anything. But I was originally going to do it in the Instant Pot. 
because it comes with this. And then I realized how long it'll take the Instant Pot to do it. So I'm using like the little Instant Pot insert right here. And I'm just gonna put it in a bowl of water, not a bowl, a pot of water. And I'm just gonna stick the steamer basket or whatever this is called, a trivet maybe. I'm gonna stick it in here and I think it'll work just as fine. Then I'm just, obviously I'm just gonna cover it up and steam it. I think it'll work good. So I will let you know here in one second. Okay, that sauce smells incredible, guys. Like, really, really good. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna let the sauce heat through on this one. Now I'm gonna do my bow buns over here. Here we go. Oof. Wow, Zer. <laughs> So these should be done. I'm going to put them on a plate so they can cool down for a little bit and then I'll cut into them. Look how darling these tons are. I just got them from Disneyland. They are so cute. Don't fall in the water. There we go. Actually, there was the serving sizes are pretty good. I didn't need to buy two. This is all of it for my husband, so he'll be good. And for me, black mango tea steeping over here. I think it's over steeped at this point, but it'll still be good. I actually smell it. It smells very florally and like fantastic. So I'm gonna have that with one of the vanilla bean scones. Here is the tea. I know you can't smell it and it just looks like a black liquid, but it smells very, very heavenly. And here is the scone. I wanted to show you. This is about like two-ish in inches or so, and it is way thicker than Starbucks vanilla bean scones. But it looks really, really good. Let's see. Ooh, very, very excited. I'm gonna try a little sip of this tea. Ooh, it really does taste like mango. It tastes like peachy mango. Like this would be a good iced tea, I think, like for the summer and like putting like sliced peaches in it or a sliced mango. Oh, that would be delicious. Now for the scum. Here it is. Mmm. -hmm. That is so good. Okay, so it is similar to Starbucks, it is a lot thicker. So it's a little bit more like doughy, but it is really, really good. And it is very close to Starbucks and I really love the Starbucks vanilla bean scones. But I actually think I might prefer this just because the serving size is a little bit bigger. Yes to these guys, if you love vanilla, this is so good. Me, I'm not going to 